Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing very well today. So today's video I am really excited about because this was actually a video that came upon me and basically what happened was um, I... I have a Poshmark. I will definitely leave my Poshmark closet down in my description box. I do occasionally list some makeup items on there. That's predominantly what I sell on my Poshmark, but every now and then I will put a new makeup item on there. So if you're interested, definitely check out my Poshmark closet. Everything, of course, is very lightly used. Anyways, besides the point, I recently listed my Flower Beauty Blush Balm in the shade Pinched on my Poshmark closet. And basically, someone, um, you know, purchased it and I shipped it out. A couple days later, I'm going through my makeup collection and I'm looking at my cream blushes and I was like, wait, this is Pinched, but I shipped one. I was like, oh my gosh, I shipped Cinnamon, which is my favorite favorite blush in my collection. I love it so much. You guys know it was recently in my, um, what is it? Five pans till five pans. It was like a project that I was doing up until, um, Halloween. I think it was like finished five by Halloween. That's what it was. It was finished five by Halloween. And I was really, really focusing on using that blush. And my goal was to use it like 10 times or something. And I decently did pretty well. I met all of my goals and everything like that but I accidentally gave away that blush and I'm so sad about it. Um, I even like messaged and commented, um, you know, to this, to the seller, to the buyer basically, and just said, look, you know, I'm so sorry. I re I accidentally sent you the wrong one. And like, she replied and was like, yeah, this one's almost done. And I was like, oh my gosh. So anyways, long story short, I shipped out the correct blush to her eventually, but um, I was basically, basically put in the situation where I no longer had one of my favorite makeup products and I needed to buy it again because it's one of my beloved makeup products. It's something that I like thoroughly enjoy and love to use and it brings me joy. And so I, I was just like, this is, this is a product that I don't want to live without. So that's kind of what this video is about. Um, it's kind of inspired by that recent incident. Um, and I just have a couple of things. Don't mistake these things for like my favorites. Like, yes, they're my favorites, but only certain things are holy girl status where I can't live without them. Like I said, these are products that you would have to pry out of my hands if you were trying to take them away from me. I would cry, I would be really sad and upset if I no longer had these makeup items. And so let's just get into the products. So I do have to say, I'm kind of testing out this like little hairdo. I feel like a lot of people do it. I don't know how I feel about it. It's very different for me. I've tried it in the past, but I took up too much hair um, from the sides and it just made my face look very round. So this time I tried not to pull so much. So hopefully, hopefully it looks okay, but let's go ahead and get into the first product. So kind of how I prefaced this video is my Flower Beauty blush. So I did recently repurchase this. This is again in the shade Cinnamon. So this is my Flower Beauty blush balm and it's in the shade Cinnamon. It's just so, so beautiful. This is my favorite blush ever. I mean, I love it so much. I missed it immediately the moment I found out that it was missing. Um, I, I even felt bad that it took me days to realize it was gone. But anyways, I recently purchased this from Ulta. Um, Flower Beauty was like 30% off or something like that. So I went ahead and took that time to purchase it. And I'm really glad to have it back in my collection, to be honest. Let me go ahead and show you just a quick little swatch of this, just so you can kind of get an idea of what the color looks like. It's just a really nice, like, kind of like, I don't know. It, it is definitely like cinnamon. I think that's a perfect way to describe how this color looks. And this is what it looks like blended out. It is just so, so stunning. This is one of my favorite cream blush formulas. And I've actually purchased quite a few blushes this month in April, quite a few cream blushes. And this is still just one of my favorites. I love it so much. I think the Flower Beauty blush bombs are so, so stunning. They're pretty easy to work with. They leave a beautiful glow and dewiness to your skin after you apply them. And they last pretty well throughout the day as well. So that is definitely the first product. And I actually first-handedly experienced that. 
that and luckily that was a drugstore item <laughs> but anyways let's go on to the next product so this is actually something that I'm kind of back and forth between. I know for sure that I would want to have one of these in my collection at all times. These are Holy Grail status. This is something that I constantly use and bring into my shop, my stash rotations. I just love them so much. These are the, so this one is the Wet n Wild Contour Stick. I have the shade Oaks on You. And then this one is the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer and it's in the shade Baked. And let me go ahead and show you guys swatches of these. So the reason that I have both of these, I wouldn't want to repurchase both of them, but I use these both interchangeably and I really can't decide which one I would want to repurchase. I do think I probably prefer the Milk Makeup one more. So here is, no. This one is the Wet n Wild one, and this is the Milk Makeup one. And that's funny because I always thought the Wet n Wild one was darker, but no, this is Wet n Wild, this is Milk. But I think I would probably repurchase the, the Wet n Wild only because it is drugstore and because this is the full size of the Milk one and you get so much product in here that I know I would never use this up. And even buying the mini of this is still more expensive than buying this one from Wet n Wild. So both of these are holy grails. I wouldn't want to be without them, but the Wet n Wild one is probably the one that I would repurchase if I lost them or something. All right, so this next product is definitely something, again, that you would have to pry out of my hands to take it away from me. This is something that even though I have a million blushes, I would need this in my collection. I want it at all times. I love it so much. And you guys probably know this already. This is my BH Cosmetics Blushing and Bally, Blushing and Bally Six Color Blush and Highlighter Palette. This is just everything to me, you guys. If you have been on my channel for pretty much any amount of time, you probably know just how much I love this. Um, I'm gonna try to swatch this for you guys. So here are the swatches. We have the blushes right there and then the highlights. So such, such a stunning palette. I just love this so much. They last really well on the skin throughout the day. And honestly, the blush colors are just so, so beautiful. I also love the highlights. They do work for me. I love to just mix and match. I love to just dip my brush in all of the blushes and dip my brush and um, mix match through the highlighters. I just really, really enjoy this so, so much. Um, and this is something that I would love to have in my collection all the time. And I would definitely repurchase it if something happened to it if I accidentally decluttered it or something which I don't think I would ever but still oh, I just love this so much and I highly highly recommend this if you pick up anything from BH Cosmetics definitely I hope it's this so I actually have one lip product and this is actually kind of surprising I thought for sure I'd be pulling in some lip favorites um, like some lip glosses some bullet lipsticks but again I really wanted to focus on products that I don't want to not have in my collection. Like, I don't want to ever lose them. I don't want them to, I don't want to ever have my collection exist without them, basically, is what I'm saying. <laughs> and this is the only lip product that I feel like I would have to repurchase if I didn't have it anymore. And this is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pumpkin Spice. And you guys know how much I love this. This is, I, I just don't even know what it is. From the scent, so from the way that it smells, to the color, to the fall vibes that it gives me, I just love this so much. And this is something that I would have to have. I mean, I don't know if I would have to, because it's limited edition, and I don't even think it's available anymore. I don't know how I would repurchase it, but I would definitely hunt it down. I just love this so much. It brings me so much joy. It's one of the makeup products that I look forward to using every single fall season. And um, I know that they have Gingerbread Girl and Gingerbread Man. And while they're pretty similar, they're not the same. This one definitely has more of those really nice, like orangey, pumpkin-y tones that the gingerbread colors don't really have. Um, and so I would definitely miss this and really try to repurchase it if I could. So this is just one of my holy grails. I love it so much. The formula is amazing, but it's really just the color, the scent, everything about it just brings me so much joy and it's one of my favorites for sure. So I have one base product and I'm really surprised. Um, I have so many favorite concealers, so many favorite foundations, and also I 
my favorite primers as well but i feel like for the most part if i got rid of or if something happens to all of my um, foundations and all of my concealers and all of my primers i really wouldn't want to keep just one except for this concealer this is one i would go to the store i'd run into target or run into ulta right away and pick this up and this is the elf hydrating camo concealer you guys probably are already very familiar with this product i do have the shade light peach this is uh, i don't even know how to explain it this is just such a good concealer i did own it um i did pick it up the very first moment that it released and as soon as it was in store at my ulta i grabbed it but i grabbed i was so stupid and i grabbed the lightest shade and i thought i hated it i was like nope i don't like this concealer definitely not it's not working for me but then when i purchased the shade light peach I fell in love with it. I think it's such a beautiful, beautiful formula. It's really creamy, but it's it's not as creamy as, like, you know how I always talk about the Milani concealer and how it's too creamy that it just looks awful underneath my eyes? That isn't, this one isn't like that. This one is still creamy and hydrating, but it doesn't look, like it doesn't make my under eyes look terrible. I feel like it actually makes them look really, really good. It's really good at like smoothing like pores that I have underneath here. I just thoroughly enjoy this so much. It's one of my favorites. Whenever I'm wanting just to use a full face of my favorite products, this is always the concealer that I gravitate towards. It's just amazing and I really would not want to be without it, honestly. And like I said, if I lost all of my concealers, I would run and purchase this one for sure. And the fact that it's affordable just makes it so much better <laughs> so we are almost finished I only have two more products to talk about this is something that has just quickly became a favorite and again I'm really trying not to use the word favorite because like I said these are holy girl status right these are things that I would really care if they weren't in my collection and this is one of the Maybelline color tattoo um, I think they're just called color tattoos they're cream shadows and I specifically have the shade social light I do have the shade high roller as well but this shade social light is definitely a holy grail this is something that I always want to reach for it's just so so beautiful it's a really nice light pink shade and it just looks so girly and so feminine i just i don't know it's so cute on the eyes it's perfect for days especially whenever i go into work that i am maybe too lazy to do eyeshadow but i want something on my lids just to kind of make myself look you know more put together <laughs> um and this is just it's great i love this shade so much the formula is really nice as well they're very long wearing and this is something that i wouldn't want to be without i absolutely love these one and done shadows for that reason um and i just love how it looks so effortless and it looks like you tried hard but you didn't because you just threw this and slapped it on your eyelids and walked out the door so i just love this so much and honestly as much as i I do enjoy the shade high roller social light is the shade that i would 100 percent repurchase go and grab because i just love the shade so much and i think it's so beautiful and also so high-end looking as well definitely wanted to mention this for maybelline and i also realized that a lot of my products are drugstore so that's really cool um but this is this would hurt if this got became missing if this i can honestly see this being stolen from me to be honest but this is the natasha denona viva palette this would really hurt if i had to repurchase this like so like it would hurt so bad because this is 129 dollars this is super expensive but i would 100 percent repurchase it if i had zero eyeshadow palettes in my collection and i wanted to repurchase one it would be this one if this one just got stolen from me um if this one was maybe lost like maybe if i traveled with it and i lost my baggage i don't know right like this i, I would repurchase it i love it so much uh, I just I don't even know what it is honestly and you can see I'm sure how much I use this I mean my eyeshadow palettes don't look like this where you can see like the dips and everything I mean and this just does this for me I'm not gonna swatch this because this is a lot but I will show you my favorite shade in the palette it is, uh, it is just so beautiful. It's the shade Monroe. It's my favorite shade in the palette. You, you're probably thinking Sabrina, that's so basic, but something about this shimmer shade. I don't know if it's the way that it reflects on the lids, 
but it almost is like it has like crushed diamonds in here or something I don't know but that is always the lid shade that I want to use when I use this palette I used this palette the other day because it is a part of my project 10 uses this eyeshadow palette and I used the shade um, shine and it was really beautiful I just love this palette so much and this is honestly probably my most used palette in my collection because like I said when I showed you up close it just has usage in it like I can see dips in here from whenever I dug my brush in or dug my little finger in you know what I mean like you can just tell that I love it so those are all of the products those are the products that are holy grail status that I wouldn't want to be without I wouldn't want my collection to exist without them <laughs> I hope that makes sense really it was that flower beauty blush bomb losing it and not having it in my collection that really kind of inspired me to do this video I hope you guys enjoyed comment below what are your holy grail products what are the products that you would have to have someone pry them out of your hands to get rid of them what are products that you just cannot not have in your collection i would love to know and definitely recommend things to me if you think i need to try out something i always love to hear from you guys in the comments and if you did enjoy i really hope that you will like this video and also please be sure to follow me on my instagram i always um, link it down in my description box i'm really trying to grow my following there on instagram as well and um, also i really hope that you'll subscribe i would love to have you here as a part of my channel so thank you guys so much for watching as always and i will go ahead and see you in my next video bye